welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Today's video, I'm going to put some spring and summer touches on my dining room. I recently got a new table for Mother's Day in my dining room, so I want to decorate that. If you guys have seen any of my previous videos of my dining room, I had a bookshelf like thing in there and it just didn't go. So I ended up taking that out and I'm gonna be putting this new table in and decorating that. And then um, I'm going to just put some summery touches on my hutch here and I haven't decided I may or may not do a very simple tablescape on my table kind of going with mostly lemon but like citrusy and just fruit theme in general for summer just kind of bright colors um, that's why I love actually lemons and oranges and stuff because they are just such bright vibrant colors for summer so because for the most part most of my house is neutral so I just like to add touches of color for the different seasons so I'm going to start out with I've emptied this out I'm just going to give it a clean and a wipe down because I only do it like once a season do I really good at give it a decent cleaning um, when it's empty and then I will go ahead and start decorating and just kind of make, giving it a little bit of a summer touch. Here's the table that I picked out for Mother's Day. This is where I had that bookcase and it just didn't go with the room or anything. So I love this. It just, it's very rustic looking, incorporates the wood and then the galvanized metal. And I don't know, I just think it fits perfectly in this little spot. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate this. And then above it right now, there are these sconces on the walls, but I am gonna take those off and I do have a different picture that I wanna to try to hang up above here and we'll see how that works out. So I found this also at Hobby Lobby for Mother's Day. And it just says, when you have more than you need, build a longer table, not a higher fence. And I love this. So I think this will look really cute hanging right above here above the table. So I'm going to go grab my command strips and then I'm going to go ahead and hang. So 
looking so far. I love that picture over the table. I think it looks so pretty. I think it'll really tie in nicely when I add some decorations to the table. Um, those holes on either side of the picture where the sconces were, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I might just patch them and touch them up with the paint or I may find something small to hang on either side of the picture. I'm not sure yet, but for now, you know, I'll just do that later. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some decorations to this. You believe it. Here's how the table came out for now. I love it. I mean, I think it's super simple and I feel like I definitely need to put something higher on the left upper side of the table here. I may get like a lamp or something to put there, but for now, this is what we have. And then down here, I just have that Arnest pillow and then that green glass pitcher with some florals in it. So. You know, I like it. It's simple for now. And like I said, I think I'm going to put something a little taller, like a lamp on the left side. Probably I might switch it around then put the lamp on the right side. I don't know if I definitely if I change it around, I definitely will share with you guys in like a vlog or something how I changed it a little bit. But for now, I think it looks really cute. It's simple. And this is what it looks like for now. So this galvanized metal chair I shared with you guys in a day in the life vlog a couple weeks back and I was still going back and forth on what I wanted to do with it but I think I like it in the corner of my dining room here because this is just kind of an empty corner so I think it looks really cute I'm just going to decorate it a little bit maybe with a throw blanket and a pillow and maybe put something next to it some florals or something so let's give it a try and see how we can get it to come out. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. I'm getting back up on my feet. So this is what the little chair looks like in the corner. Um, I think it looks really cute. I, I really want a little bit whiter of a throw blanket. That one is a little bit more on the cream side. So when I, I'm sure I have one around here, I just have to find it. So when I come across a little bit whiter of a blanket, I will put that on there. But I love that little pale yellow and white striped um, pillow I found at Marshall's. And then I just have that glass vase down there with the dogwood branches. So I think it looks really cute. It gives this little corner a little something. So now I'm just gonna do a really simple, simple tablescape um, for summer. Me up 
here's an overview of how the dining room came out. I think it's bright and cheery for summer without being over the top, so I'm happy with how it's turned out. Um, I will go through quickly and just kind of tell you where I got everything or, you know, what I can remember where I got. So over here in the hutch, I mean, all of the Ray Dunn came from either Home Goods, Marshalls, or TJ Maxx. Um, the lemon uh, branches and the orange branch there are from Walmart. And then down here, that little pitcher is from Home Goods. And then that When Life Gives You Lemons sign came from Walmart. And again, the lemons were from Target. The tulips were from Target in the dollar spot in the spring, early spring. And then down here, that little lemon pinch bowl came from Home Goods. And I just put it on that little cake stand or cupcake stand that is from the Target dollar spot. And then that little greenery back there I've had for a long time. Um, I think it's like a TJ Maxx thing. Also, and then also another one of those cupcake stands from Target. And then my black and white plates are from Pier 1. So I kept this pretty simple. I put a lot of the Ray Dunn away. Just wanted little pops of color. I tried to make sure every shelf had a little bit of color. And I think it's summery and cute. So I'm happy with how this turned out. So then coming over here, this is that tray I made in my vignette video that I did. I can link that video down in the description box if you didn't see it. And then I just added this little basket over here. I'm gonna put something in there. I think, hmm, I'm not sure. Hobby Lobby has so much beautiful artificial fruit. So I'll probably put something. They actually have some really pretty cherries or strawberries or something like that. So I'm probably gonna get that. Either that or I'll just get more lemons and maybe limes or oranges to put over there in that basket. And then this right here is still out here. That That is one of the DIYs that I made a while ago. It's gonna go outside if it ever gets nice around here. It is the worst weather ever. It's 40 and raining with snowflakes mixed in today. So once it gets warm enough, that's not gonna stay there. That will be outside. So this is just that little Bar. So then over here on the table, these are the lemon bowls that I got from uh, Pier 1. Love those. And then I just have them on my everyday white plates that I think I got from Target. And then just white napkins. And then these little placemats right here came from Pier 1 a while ago, but I see them all over the place. Or maybe it was Target. Pier 1 or Target. So that's just how I simply did a little tablescape just to give a little decor to the table. And then in the center, I added that other little vignette that I made, the two-tiered tray. Um, again, I think it's really pretty. I love the daisies for to add a little bit of stuff. I actually may put in that basket over there a bundle of daisies instead of fruit. I don't know, we'll see what I find. But anyways, that's how I really simply did the table for summer. And then in this corner is where I have that galvanized metal chair and I just have that throw blanket that I've had forever. I can't even remember, it was probably like a Target thing. And then that pillow is actually a Ralph Lauren that I found on clearance for $16 at TJ Maxx yesterday. And then that vase with the dogwood branches, all of that came from Target earlier in the season. And then I somehow lost the clip of this is where I ended up hanging this driftwood decor that I had received for my birthday as a gift. I had it on the wall in the foyer and I switched it out because it was just too big for, or too small for that bigger wall. So I put something else there, but I think it fits perfectly between these two windows. And then over here, this is the table that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby for Mother's Day. Very simply decorated. I can already think of a couple other things that I'm going to do here, but I love the table. I love the wood and the galvanized metal. So the table again came from Hobby Lobby, as well as that Our Nest pillow down at the bottom. The tobacco basket, I think came from AC Moore a while ago. The green glass vase down at the bottom there came from Target and the florals probably came from Hobby Lobby. 
And then this green glass vase came from, I think it was TJ Maxx. And then I just have my standard um, lamb's ear, cotton stems, and then those really pretty artificial flower picks that I had found from a local grocery store. And then down here, I just have a watermelon lemonade candle under this covered stand with some greenery around it. And then I just put these two candlesticks here from now, for now, but I think I am gonna get some kind of a lamp or something taller to put on this side. Those candlesticks are from Target and the candles, I don't know, Walmart or something. And then this last table that, or not table, this last picture that I hung up here um, when you have more than you need, build a longer table, not a higher fence. Love that saying. Love the gray in it. Um, I think it looks beautiful in this room. That was from Hobby Lobby, part of like their spring decor collection. So, and again, I'm not sure. I've got nail holes there. I've either got to fix those or I don't know if I'll hang something on either side of the picture, but I'm probably just going to fill those holes in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got a little bit of decorating inspiration for maybe summertime. Um, I have a decorate, I'm gonna be doing the kitchen and adding some summer decor in there soon, as well as my family room. So uh, please give me a thumbs up if you guys like these type of videos so I know to keep making them. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video.